previously on Balls. Nat. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. And you? You're all right, thanks. Nice to chat to you again on Balls Radio with Darren, John, Simon and Knox here. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Yes, yeah, so yeah, oh geez, I mean the list of celebs and big names doing the ninety four point seven is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, you're going to be tackling the race as well, I believe. I am indeed, and I'll, I will be doing it on behalf of the South African uh, drag free sport. Um, and it's it's quite an interesting thing because I want to meet to swim, but I've given up swimming. So um, I thought the next best thing would be cycling. Yeah. So is this <laughs> is this something that you're going to be pursuing more and more now, cycling beyond the ninety four point seven? I have no idea. You know, I was on the bike this morning for the first time. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish 94.7 kilometers. I'm going to give it my best shot. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be challenging. But I think that's what, what life is about. It's about going there, taking those challenges. Mm. And, you know, things that I couldn't do as a, as a swimmer because I was too scared I'd break an arm or a leg. Um, and I used to cycle and I used to come away with no skin on my knees and elbows. So <laughs> <laughs> I was told that I can't cycle close to competition time. So yeah. it's great to be able to get out there and do something different and, and challenging. I have one key word for you, Natalie, if you want to make it through that race on Saturday. <laughs> yes. Sunday. Vaseline. Sunday. Vaseline. 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 Smear it on those thighs so that you don't chafe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have even more of a challenge in that uh, to keep my prosthetic leg on, I actually have to wear a rubber sort of, what would you call it, like tights over my leg, and then it has a belt that goes around my waist. So I'm going to be chafing, I think, in too many places. But, no. uh, I'm going to be... <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> I think, cream. is your biggest challenge. Yeah, you, you only got on the bike first time today. Yes, and I cycled for about half an hour. I watched you, I watched you <laughs> Nats, and I must admit, from where I was, you looked very good. <laughs> Thank you. We were we were still trying trying out the cleat. Um, you know, yeah. it was it's, it's quite difficult to put a prosthetic leg into a cleat um, to try and get it to click in and not to click out because I can't actually push when I cycle. I can only pull with my prosthetic leg. Yeah. So generally, I'm going to be doing the whole race with more with one leg. Yes. Um, yeah, wow. I'm going to exercise for two months. <laughs> Isn't that going to make you go around in circles? <laughs> Thank goodness in cycling, no. Okay. But what it does do is it makes me cycle not in a straight line. So um, I, I do veer a bit left and a bit right and a bit left and a bit right. <laughs> which I have 94.7 kilometers to get the balance right. What patch are you in that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, stay away. <laughs> you, you could end up actually doing about 120 if you do finish the rest the way you go. <laughs> I think that's the challenge because, you know, obviously on one side I have more weight than the other. So with my arm I have to put more weight on the left side because I don't have weight on that side. So that's kind of what makes me, yeah, left and right. So, so yeah, you know, it's going to be a challenge. I've been told that there's heartbreak hill towards the end of the race. Mm, yeah. and, uh, so looking forward to, to a good race. Which is heartbreak hill, Jan Smuts? Uh, no, that's the one coming up towards Midrand. It's a terrible, it's a, to the final stretch as you head up towards Waterfall Estate oh, really? to finish. Yeah. Oh, oh up this road, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one up the back end. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Thank okay. goodness you come down, Jan Smuts, and not up it. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. oh, that would be like Polly yeah. Shorts and the Comrades. Did you say now that, uh, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of, you know, cycling a few Ks, because, I mean, the one thing is that uh, it'll be so awesome for the people taking part in the race to see you there along the routes, you know, um, as the race goes on. Um, I think I think a, a lot of people do the race really looking forward to seeing some of the the big names as well. But you, so what you're saying, you can't get off the bike and 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 push it for a, uh, a while and then get back on. So do it like that. Well, no, you know, I actually changed legs completely because I'm a through knee. I have to use a total mechanical knee joint to cycle because uh. with my computerized leg, it actually hits and my leg falls off. So I have to be careful; it doesn't bend enough. Um, so I, I, I cycled another leg, which is going to be quite difficult to walk on. So generally, I'm going to be cycling the whole way, probably, you know, on the easiest gear possible, but that also tires the legs out. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of playing with gears, I think, <laughs> throughout the race. <laughs> and just hopefully, you know, I have someone to stay with me and, and keep me company um, and talk me through it. I'm sure you're not going to have a problem with that, Nats. I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> want to want to join your peloton. And just be there. So you'll get a lot of help on the, on the route, I'm sure. And uh, we wish you all the best for that. Uh, you did mention, obviously, now that you've, uh, you've tossed in the swimming thing. And I, I was actually at the, the, the hospital earlier today, and I was just looking in the rack there in the canteen. And I saw the U magazine. Actually, I actually bought the copy because I saw the story there that you were saying, um, cycling, you're done. I'm um, cycling. Uh, swimming, you're done with it. Uh, the politics tied you out or wore you out or something. Yeah, you know, politics is, is always tough, I think, in sports, and it's, 
it's actually a story that I wanted to be positive and a story that, you know, through everything, I was still, well, my team was still able to achieve uh, the Olympics, the Paralympics, and there's nothing really left to achieve. So, mm. you know, I didn't bow out because of politics. I bowed out because generally there's nothing more for me to achieve, and it's time to move on to something different. Um, and yeah, you know, it's you know, it's unfortunate that you have to go through things like that. Um, and yeah, we just got to get through them, and and you know, keep your head about you, and and try and be positive, and try and move into something. You know, that you'll like, that you'll enjoy one day. Yeah. Achieve despite the hurdles and obstacles. And if anyone's faced a few of those in their career, mm. it has been Natalie DeToy. And you've gone and done exactly that. Achieved. We're really proud of you, Nat, uh, as always. And uh, we wish you all the best for the big race on uh, when's it Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think we've got a nice starting time at about quarter to eight. I believe the, the temperature is going to be about 22, 25 degrees. Mm. So if it's anything like today, we're going to get a bit sunburned. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a good day and, and little wind and, you know, just finish the 94.7. Enjoy it, Nats. Thanks a lot for chatting to us. Cheers, Nats. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. Cheers, Nats. Bye. Ciao, thank you. There we go, Natalie DeToy joining us uh, ahead of the night. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African Time. Bulls.co.za